Yeah, so what's going on guys? Well, I got a really, really, today I got a really, really cool video for you guys. So, well, uh, I got asked by a company, uh, I got asked by Yomi to do a video tour of the new software called Backup. And uh, as the name says, it's a backup utility for the PC. Uh, there's not really a lot to it, so, uh, but... Uh, uh, overall, it's a nice program. It does exactly what uh, what it tells you to do. It it backs up your data. Uh, that's really the meaning of a backup backup program. Uh, but I'm gonna take you through the program. So let's start with the setting. Sorry, uh, setting. Uh, so you can either choose compression uh, level of a backup to splitting. So let's say you're doing a larger backup and you want. Well, let's say you're doing splitting and then you can set uh, the size of every individual file, how large you want every individual file to be. Uh, you're just gonna set it back to automatic. Then you can do intelligent sector or do an exact copy or backup, sorry, and then you can do reviews, which are which you can read about in description. Uh, just gonna click OK. Um, but when standing up, I use backup for the first time. The settings are gonna be pre-selected for you, and uh, they these were my settings when I first launched the program. So, well, you do not have to worry about the settings. Just leave them alone. You can't really screw anything up by editing the settings. Um, or you can set up the settings as you want to. I don't wanna, I don't wanna tell you how to set it up. Uh, that's something you gotta figure out on your own. Really simple, so whatever. Uh, but uh, when first starting up, a Yumi backup, uh, you're ending up with this. Uh, you, you got this really sleek looking interface uh, where you get these choices: backup, restore, clone, and utilities. Uh, but now I'm just gonna create a new backup. So when first starting up a Yumi backup, uh, you get the uh, choice to create a new backup. When you have created new backups, they're gonna be stored here. Uh, but I'm just gonna create a new backup. But then you got your three uh, options. You can either back up a whole disk, which I'm gonna show you here. Let's say you got multiple hard drives. So this is my disk zero. Then I can copy it to an external hard drive. It's gonna copy all my partitions and and everything. Um, well, then I got partition backup where I can back up my partitions, which I'm gonna do in a bit. Uh, just gonna click cancel. Then you got system backup where it's gonna back up your C drive. Mm, that's actually, a, that's actually a unique feature. But now we're gonna do partition partition backup. So, all right. So here I got partitions. So I can select my partitions. I'm gonna select my three drive which I created for this tutorial. Then I. You're gonna save it somewhere, and I already pre chose the folder for this tutorial, which is this folder here. This symbol to do, just click on the on the bar here, select your folder, and click uh, select folder. Uh, yeah, but I'm gonna start my backup, and actually, you can also set up the backup here or the settings here. You can see better setting. Then I got comments where I can like make a comment, for example, full backup or system partition or something, and then I can set the compression ratio. Incre sorry, encryption for, let's say, you don't want other people to touch your backup, then I can encrypt and uh, create a password on the backup, then I can do splitting, insulting, take down, VVS again. Uh, but I ain't gonna back up my partition, and I ain't gonna, I gonna return in a bit. All right, so there we go. Uh, now I create my backup. You can see this is my backup folder. You can see my backup three. Then I get the file here. Uh, so well, what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna click finish. Uh, so as you can see, now I'm home. Now it shows my backup here. This is my backup three. Uh, then I can just simply click restore. Then I can back up my backup. Oh, I can choose advanced and let's say I can check the image, explore the image, locate the image, uh, change the settings for the image and then yeah, all that stuff. You uh, all right, but anyway, uh, let's say now we're gonna restore. Now, uh, now I'm going to restore it. So that's all right. Then I just gonna click restore, of course. Then I gonna click on full bug up or whatever I call it, and then I, well, then I'm gonna choose the disk I really am. then I'm gonna choose the disk I wanna restore, or the, and this is the only disk I got the possibility to restore right now, then click next, and then it, well, choose the, choose the disk again, uh, this is my G drive, then it's gonna completely overwrite, 
uh, the disk as it is now. So if you got, <coughs> let's say you got some important data on the disk, uh, back them up also because it's gonna erase the whole drive. And this is my G drive. I select it again, then it's just gonna click yes. Uh, then I can do sector by sector restore. Oh, I can edit the size of uh, the partition. Um, I'm gonna try to click on. I really. Uh, yeah, this is the maximum size of the partition, as you can see, 2.93. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna cr I'm gonna restore it. Uh, then I g again gonna return after restore it. Uh, restored. Did. All right, so it's close to be done. Uh, all right, so the operation has been completely successful. Then just gonna finish, and then you can see now I backed up my. Uh, my uh, partition so now I'm just gonna lead it by clicking advanced delete backup and the and click or delete both the backup task and its image files that's what I'm gonna do now you can uh, um all right so now you can either choose to clone a partition so let's say I wanna I wanna clone the G drive to something like the Z drive I can do that also. Uh, I can clone a disk. Let's say I got the, my disk zero here, and I got another hard um, disk. Then I can clone my disk zero to my disk one or something. Uh, yeah. So by accident, kind of screw up in last video when explaining the utilities. I said that you could create a USB media um, with a program, but I just couldn't get it to work. That's a minor bug in the. Um, in the program and that's actually the only negative thing about the program uh, but, I, uh, but uh, let's just continue with the video so here in utilities you can you can either check um, you can either check let's say a backup backup if you want to make sure that uh, the data on the backups are right then you can explore image let's say you got a backup you want to make sure that uh, your files are there then well you can check it and then you can create a portable uh, CD or DVD with, with either a Linux or Windows image so let's say the Linux image then you can actually yeah all right uh, my um, uh, DVD drive just popped out but here I can burn it to let's say a CD or DVD uh, the, or I can export let's say ISO file yeah and there my ISO file appeared so uh well it works but you can you can't uh you can't uh, burn it to a usb media as the, as the description says that's a minor bug in the program but that's also the only negative that's also the only negative thing i really have to say about it um but uh now i just want to say my what i think about the young back overall uh, I I think it's a great program, one of one of the best free as a uh, banging up programs I've uh, been able to try. Uh, that's got a, that's probably a lot out there, but I will say that Ayumi Backup Bar is probably one of the best uh, programs to back up your data. Um, and that's uh, and of course I think it's the best free program out there. I would definitely give it a try. Uh, it works completely for me. Everything works. Uh, Except the create bootable media, but it's backup program. You know, I don't think I think if you want to create USB media, you can get some software out there that will do the job. So overall, five out of six. Uh, I will say Yomi did a great job on the program. Uh, but anyway, uh, see you guys later. I gotta go now. Hope you enjoy. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And stay tuned for upcoming tech videos from the tech reviewers for free. See you guys later. Bye.